now, this week, Emmerdale's Victoria Sugden told her family and friends that she wanted to keep her unborn baby, despite it being the product of a brutal rape. So, can her brother Robert and her stepmom Diane stand by her decision? Here's how she broke the news. I'm sorry I'm not having a termination. That's all there is to it. I'm keeping the baby. I was raped. A horrible thing happened. But something good's come out of it. Does that make sense? How can a baby be wrong? We've reviewed the case, and there's insufficient evidence to take it forward. I am sorry. I sort of knew that this might happen. So you're saying that that's it? Rob, it's OK. No, it's not. He raped you. You can't let him get away with this. Well, Isabel Hodgins, who uh, plays Victoria, joins us now. Um, uh, uh, to my memory, this is the grittiest storyline that you've had. Oh, by far, yeah. And it's, um, it's been a journey, but I've really enjoyed yeah. it. So is, yeah. it, is there a... Do you feel a pressure on you when you're doing something like this? Massively so, because it's so relevant and it happens to hundreds, thousands, men and women, and it was it's a big responsibility for myself and the show to get it right mm. and tell it truthfully. Um, and I think I think we've managed that, yeah. Mm. It's, it's a really tough one for her, isn't it? Because this is a time when, more than ever, she needs her friends and family to be supporting her, and it's the one thing that her brother can't do because he just doesn't agree with this no. decision. And he's, I know he wants to help, but he's not doing it in a very good way. Well, you wonder where the help's going to come from because he seems to be focused, like he said, if we just saw in the clip there when he's going, he's just going to get away with this. It's almost like he's going to help her by seeking revenge, possibly. I think that's who... If I do that, then I will help her, but that's not what she wants. She just wants to... You know, it happened. I think she wants to get over it and just carry on, carry on with her life, but he's... He doesn't agree with that. So what is that. this? This is like a revenge versus justice type of thing? I think so, but there's, there's nothing that can be done. You know, the police have said we can't take it any further. So, really, it should just be left alone. So, but yeah, but he, this is Emmerdale. Of course. So, it doesn't um, work like that, does it? No, no. And Robert won't be told. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we've got a clip now because, uh, because she's being very strong. We'll talk about that in just a moment, uh -huh. how strong she's being, the decision that she's actually made. But it is difficult for the family. You're getting yourself into a state ain't going to do any good, is it? No, I, I can't sit and be OK about it, that's all. Look, you need to go back there to the police station. You need to put some pressure on them. What, you think they're being lazy? That normally they'd prosecute, but they can't be bothered, is that it? No, of course not, but you... It happened, Robert. And I'm sure the police would love to get him. But they can't. So it's over. So what is it in, in her makeup? Um, that, uh, that has made her so strong here? Um, I think... I don't know if it's a maternal instincts kicked in and all she thinks about now is having the best life for the baby. Um, and I think she's been through something so horrendous um, that I think she wants it to stop and it would be with all the police and going down there and maybe retelling of the story um, is an intense thing to go through. Mm. So I think she accepts that it happened, she accepts that she's pregnant, so now she just needs to continue to live a life the best way she can. Mm. And you've had um, a lot of response from, from women that have been through this exact Yes, thing. yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. And they're so brave for telling me, you know, I was, I, they would say, like, oh, it was exactly the same situation as Victoria or something very similar. And I was like, oh, I, well, one, thank you, but I don't know how to mm. respond to this because I'm pretending and it actually happened to you. So I just I think they're incredible. Mm. It's, um, it's one of those stories that you see reflected in, uh, in the Soap Awards, which, we, uh, which we've just had. Mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, the, and, the, and all the soaps are so, so good at these, so current with the stories that they're, they're happy to, um, to tackle. Um, did you have a good time? Did you enjoy it? I did, and I took my mum, Aww. and she loved it. Um, but I was sensible, I was in bed for half one. Were you? Which yeah, which wasn't too bad. Um, but Is that because your mum was it. there? I think so, best behaviour. <laughs> yeah. Keeping an yeah. eye on you. And Lucy, Lucy Pargeter's award. 
Ford, which is and, the best actress. I, I screamed been. so hard when they announced she won. I thought, I've, I've torn a vocal cord. Honestly, I couldn't talk the day after. Oh. But, oh, she deserved it. I was so happy for her. And also Val, Val Lawson, the yeah. director, for, won the Tony Warren Award yes, as well. Yes, she did. And that was, we watched it back the day after, and it was so cute, her face. And she was like, is it me yeah. trying to work oh, out? So yeah. sweet, so sweet, very much. Well, a said. tough storyline, which, um, as we've, I think we've hinted on, there's no chance of this going away anytime soon. Absolutely I think it's not. going to continue in one yes. way or the other. Um, and uh, and hopefully we'll see you because of this at the uh, Soap Awards next year. Hopefully so, yes. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.